Tech in 5. Dive into Python with a fun game. Learn in just 5 minutes. Want to create a game with Pygame? Follow me. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to do it. Let's dive right in. Every well-structured game starts by defining constants. Think of constants as the basic settings or rules of your game universe. For our game, these constants represent Screen dimensions, the playground for our ball and bar. Sizes, the sizes of our ball and the bar, which affect how they're drawn and how they interact. Colors, RGB values for the ball, bar, and screen background. Remember, the ease of tweaking these constants encourages experimentation, which can lead to fascinating gameplay variations. Now, let's take a look at ball class. The heart of our game is the bouncing ball, encapsulated in the ball class. Let's understand its anatomy. Position and speed, our ball's location is determined by its x and y coordinates. Its movement is determined by its speed in these directions. Bouncing mechanics. The ball's behavior upon hitting walls or the bar is defined by its bouncing mechanics. When the ball hits the left or right walls, its horizontal speed reverses, causing it to bounce. A collision with the top results in a reversal of its vertical speed. Interaction with the bar. This is where gameplay becomes interesting. The ball's bounce angle off the bar isn't fixed. Depending on where it strikes, it bounces back differently, making the game unpredictable and challenging. Now we are looking at the bar class, which is the movable bar. The bar class represents the player's tool for interacting with the game. Its key aspects are movement, boundaries. The bar's horizontal movement is player controlled using keyboard inputs. Ensuring the bar doesn't wander off screen is vital. If the bar's movement would result in it moving off screen, our code restricts it. A game's immersion greatly benefits from audio feedback. Our chosen effect is a bounce sound that plays each time the ball interacts with the wall or the bar. Sound in games acts as feedback, reinforcing player actions and making interactions feel tangible. To achieve this, we load our desired sound first. Pygame Mixer primarily supports WAV, OGG, and also MP3 in some platforms. Then we integrate this sound into our ball's logic. When a bounce condition is met, we trigger the sound using the play method. Sound integration not only enhances player experience, but also aids in making gameplay intuitive. Now we have all of components ready, let's look into the game loop. Central to our game's functioning is the game loop. It ensures our game stays alive, responsive, and dynamic. Let's break down its responsibilities. The game continually checks for keys being held down, allowing smooth movement of the bar. If the left or right key is pressed, the bar moves seamlessly in that direction throughout the key's duration. When the ball hits the walls or the bar, a bounce sound resonates, enhancing the game's realism. However, if the ball touches the screen's bottom edge, the game concludes, signifying the player's defeat. To reflect these updates visually, the screen is redrawn. First, we clear the screen, and then we draw the bar and ball in their updated positions. Visual representation is the bridge between your code and the player. The drawing functions utilize Pygame's capabilities to render our ball and bar as vibrant shapes on the screen. The code takes our logical constructs, like the ball's position, and turns them into visual elements. During our game loop, we also need to account for game-ending scenarios. If the ball slips past the bar and hits the bottom, it's game over. Detecting this is vital to introducing stakes and challenge into our game. Now, you delve deep into the mechanics of a classic arcade-style game. The principles you've learned here, from game loops to collision detection, lay the foundation for more complex game projects. As always, the key is to experiment, iterate, and most importantly, have fun. Now, let's enjoy our game. Stay tuned for more videos on Tekken 5.